This video has kindly been sponsored by OneFootball. With a rating of 4.8 out of 5 from over 70,000 reviews on the App Store, OneFootball really is the biggest and best app for football news, scores and stats from hundreds of leagues worldwide. In terms of FPL, you can also follow each team in the Premier League and get live updates from all the goals and assists every game week. Download it for free using the link in the description box below. Warning, this video contains team selection and captain choices which some viewers may find offensive. Hey guys and welcome back to FPL TV. With an extremely quick turnaround between game weeks this week, let's do a very short review from game week 15 before then checking out my team for this weekend's game week. Despite having an absolute disaster of a season, I actually went into game week 15 fairly optimistic, with 9 of my starting 11 having home fixtures. Incredibly, although my team looked solid on paper, it was yet another calamitous week for my team and the pain continues. For game week 15, I chose to sell Anthony Martial, and he ended up being injured anyway. So in came Wilfred Zaha for a nice home fixture against Bournemouth, along with a lengthy run of good fixtures. He'd scored in each of his last two games, but a very early red card for Palace limited his attacking threat in that one, and it was therefore a frustrating debut blank for the Ivorian in my side. Ironically though, Zaha with a three-pointer made him my joint highest scorer in midfield, with all four of them blanking. That's Christian Pulisic's second consecutive blank since I brought him in, despite facing both West Ham and Villa in back-to-back -back home games. The performances from Captain America in those games has been promising, but they haven't converted into some much-needed FPL points for me. My defence was also a shambles, with both Liverpool and Sheffield United conceding two goals apiece against Everton and Newcastle, some of the lowest scoring teams in the league. It's been 15 game weeks now, and that's only two clean sheets for Liverpool, even though they've conceded the second least goals in the league. Doubling up on their defence has clearly been a mistake for the entirety of this season, but I genuinely thought that during these nicer fixtures, their defence would come good in FPL. The problem is, so many cheaper defenders are keeping up with them in terms of points, and that's been the big issue with holding onto them for so long and tying up a lot of money along the way. Granted, they're playing well and getting attacking returns, but the cheaper defenders are keeping clean sheets, and therefore matching them for points. Elsewhere, there was also a blank for Jimenez at home to West Ham, and opting for him over Danny Ings two game weeks ago is yet another 50-50 that's ended up in disaster for me, with Jimenez getting 7 points and Danny Ings getting 18. So, just three decent returns for me this week, with Kasper Schmeichel in goal, the consistent Vardy continuing his scoring streak, and Tammy Abraham getting back from injury and delivering the goods against his former club. On paper, I genuinely expected 70 plus points from this side in game week 15, but it's an extremely underwhelming 45 in the end, and you guessed it, another red arrow. It takes me back down to 2.3 million, the same rank I was five game weeks ago, and my team is simply stuck in complete limbo. The massive hole in my squad, and one of the reasons I've had another shocking week, is the fact that I don't own Sadio Mane, who continues to punish. With Mane being in such electric form, and being one of the highest owned players in FPL, it was always going to be a risky strategy going without him. With him and Liverpool having that blank game week in game week 18, the plan was to try and persevere without him until after that blank week. However, in game week 17, Liverpool host Watford at Anfield, and that will certainly be a tough game not to own him for. So, let's move on now to the fast approaching game week 16 and see how my team currently lines up. Also, if you enjoy the content here at FPL TV, be sure to leave a like on the video and most importantly, get subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. There's been no changes to my side so far for game week 16, and the likelihood is I'll save my free transfer for this weekend, and then head into game week 17 with two at my disposal. Having two transfers saved up for game week 17 would open up the possibility of getting Sadio Mane for that Watford game that I mentioned earlier. I'm not saying that's a guaranteed plan of mine, but it would make it much easier to do if I wanted. As for the Liverpool defence, they now face Bournemouth and Watford in the next two games. So the plan is to see how they do in those games, and then potentially drop one of them down to a budget defender during their blank game week 18, with Aston Villa's Matt Target firmly on the radar for then. With most of my team having home fixtures last week, it's now the opposite, with 9 of my starting 11 away from home in game week 16. So I'm not sure what to expect for this weekend. In all honesty, any transfer I make this season never seems to pay off anyway, so I think I'm just going to leave my team as it is this week and hope for the best. 
With the Crystal Palace defence again proving reliable in the last game week at home to Bournemouth, it's Martin Kelly who gets the first spot on my bench this week, and he provides nice enough cover should there be any rotation in my side. The only choice I have to make before the deadline now is captaincy, and to be fair there's quite a few viable options. Tammy Abraham boasts a very impressive away record so far this season, but it's Chelsea's crunch Champions League fixture against Lille in midweek that does put me off slightly. Frank Lampard will surely want Abraham fit for that one, and he's already carrying a bit of a knock, so perhaps there's a chance he gets reduced minutes in this game against Everton. For me, this leaves either the very popular Jamie Vardy, or the differential captain Son Heung-min. Having returned points in seven consecutive game weeks now, Jamie Vardy is likely to be the highest captain to play in the game again, just like he was last game week with over 2 million people giving him the armband. Going against the informed striker is now a big risk, as I found out when he faced Brighton, but at the same time I'm stuck at 2.3 million, and therefore gambling on a differential like Son could help me jump up the rankings if it pays off. Son's opponents Burnley have conceded 15 goals in the last 8 games, but as we know, on their day they can always turn up and frustrate anyone. Aston Villa on the other hand will be at home and could potentially be more open to attack, maybe giving Vardy a chance to catch them on the break. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. At 2.3 million, should I gamble on the differential Son at home to Burnley, or stay safe and captain Vardy away to Villa? So that's my team selection video for game week 16. If you enjoyed it, be sure to get subscribed to FPL TV. You can also hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload on this channel. Good luck to all of those watching over the weekend. FPL responsibly and I'll catch you all next week.